Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to folks out there. It is Earth Master jumping in here on the live stream. April 17, 2021 is the date. Uh, it is Saturday, about 10.36 a.m. West Coast time here in California. Latest quake out here on the globe is going to be a 5.1, just coming into the uh, live earthquake 3D center here, right around the Sea of uh, Crete area. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick on the USGS map. Uh, right there, you can see that red circle indicating that uh, most recent quake 5.1 striking at about uh, 6.3 kilometers below surface. No uh, significant uh, uh, movement, I should say, in this area, but is kind of a, a moderate sized quake, I guess. We haven't seen too much there in a while. We can go back the past seven days here and uh, look at the general activity within this region there just hasn't been a whole lot um it seems like we get periods of uh of uh moderate sized quakes here in the region looks like the last one was 5.3 uh a eh, few days ago within the same vicinity of the sea of crete area this area is a, a pretty dynamic region when it comes to plate tectonics i did manage to find a, a little diagram here of the uh uh, almost like a the general movement here of the plate dynamics in this area. Of course, that earthquake struck right around the, uh, just off here in this region. Subduction zone down here. You got the uh, Mediterranean Ridge. Uh, so this is kind of a surface quake in between this almost anti, uh, or what, should, what could I say? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> counterclockwise rotation of plate dynamics here in this region um, so pretty it's pretty complex there's no doubt a lot of complex uh, um, works here or yeah it's kind of uh, pretty crazy anyway um, not a big quake but this area has been known to get some big quakes so just uh, be on guard kind of uh, quiet there now kind of seeing things pick up a little bit uh let's see what else we got here folks just gonna do a just a early morning update not super early but i just kind of felt like a felt like jumping on here and uh hanging out for a little bit on my saturday morning there's a little bit of earthquake activity up here uh inland 5.1 striking uh off the uh trench area of the pacific plate about 89 kilometers below surface, so kind of inland into the subduction area. That's an area to watch for some significant movement. Of course, this area, uh, any subduction area along this region is uh, capable of producing some significant quakes. Of course, this region right here is kind of where my hot spot of uh, my, I'm kind of been eyeballing this area for quite some time for the next major quake. Um, it's just been all too quiet in this subduction area. Um, of course, yeah, yeah, we've had a couple fours and a couple lower fives in the past week. But after all the activity uh, that took place down in the uh, Kermadec Trench area a couple weeks ago now with that with the uh, larger quake, uh, just we haven't seen any, uh, we haven't really seen too much in the, in the way of adjustment up here when it comes to um, the dynamics of this plate system, the, the whole Pacific plate in general. So, kind of watching it uh, when we start seeing these deeper earthquakes up here. It's something to pay attention to. Little 5.3 south there. I think that was from yesterday. Some of the stuff is still included uh, from my update video of last night. Um, hasn't really been a whole lot of significant movement. A little bit of uptick down here along the Kermadec Trench. And uh, New Zealand down here seeing a 4.4 4. Um, south of the activity that we've seen a couple weeks ago, south of the region that we're looking at right now, um, at about 18 kilometers or so uh, below the surface. This area did see uh, a little bit of movement. We'd have to go back, uh, oh, 30 days or so. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Did see a little bit of movement here um, within the past 30 days, but not a whole, not a whole lot. That was a 4.3. It's a 4.4, so just a little migration of uh, of um, movement down there, 
following, uh, as I mentioned, those larger quakes here along the Kermadec Trench and uh, just off the North Island here where we've seen that uh, other large quake uh, strike in the vicinity. Um, Hawaii kind of popping off a little bit. Uh, not a whole lot of significant movement since last night. It looks like maybe a, maybe a little bit more than uh, what we had seen um, on the update video. This map showing about 52 earthquakes. Uh, and a little bit of migration towards the Kilauea, um, not Kilauea, but uh, Mauna Loa. <laughs> Kilauea, keep getting that stuck in my head. Mauna Loa caldera region. Uh, most of the swarming and... Um, Earthquake activity has been over here to the west of the caldera of Mauna Loa. We're starting to see a little bit of migration here in recent, uh, within the past, oh, past 24 hours towards the Kilauea, or uh, towards the Mauna Loa. Gosh darn it, if I say it one more time, that's not good. Uh, Mauna Loa uh, caldera area. Pretty close, kind of watching that region uh, pretty closely. There's some surface quaking. And of course, uh, further movement down here on the southeast flank couple twos and uh, some deeper earthquake activity. This is average for this region. Uh, we'll just still kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Not a whole lot uh, to report. Western United States area. Of course, this activity has been, uh, was there in the update last night. There has been some, a little bit of new mo movement over here to the, uh, to the east into parts of Carolina. This area has seen some movement before in the past. Of course, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, around that area, it's the region for uh, the New Madrid fault system. It's a seismically hazard area. Um, major, I should say, when it comes to uh, producing sig significant earthquakes. That little 1.8 there in Tennessee, it looks like Dryersburg, Tennessee, struck at about 12.6 kilometers below surface, so pretty deep within that uh, major seismically active hazard zone. Uh, you know, it just, it's been pretty quiet for a little while. We haven't seen any significant movement on this uh, fault structure in uh, quite some time with all the movement uh, around the North American plate, around the North American Craton region, which is this area up here that's relatively stable, doesn't really have too many earthquakes north of here within this vicinity. Um, there's a lot of valuable information when it comes to the uh, North American Craton uh, definition. So we have seen quite a bit, just kind of an area to watch, uh, especially, especially with all the movement going on here in this region of the West Coast and uh, uh, whatnot. So just keep an eye on that area. Uh, Southern Cal kind of rocking a little bit uh, compared to last night's movement up here near Santa Barbara. No major quakes, just a couple of microquakes popping off and uh, some further movement along the San Jacinto Fault area. Um, getting that linear fashion back over here into southern Nevada uh, from the Ridgecrest area. You can see a linear type structure of uh, earthquakes not really following any fault systems that are visible on the USGS map here. We'll have to keep, uh, keep a close eye on this area. 3.5 near the uh, Beatty area. May have to, may have to visit, visit that area pretty soon. We'll see. Um, a little movement up there near Covalo into the coast range of uh, Northern California. Pretty deep right there, 46 kilometers below surface. And a little movement up here near Bernie into the mountains, Sierra Nevada mountains there. Mount Lassen, of course, sits well up or well to the south here. Right there at Lassen Peak. No further movement in that region as of right now. Yellowstone National Park, last time I checked, was not seismically active. It's really super quiet there for now. Not for sure why. <laughs> it's been quite a while since we've seen a a pretty good swarm in that region. All right, folks. Um, yeah, I just want to jump on, do a quick update. Uh, you know, I've told my viewers I'm going to start doing daily updates, and I may even start doing uh, 
a couple updates during the day. Maybe potentially if there's new activity in the morning, uh, we'll do a morning update and then of course an evening update and any updates in between uh, if significant movement takes place. But for now, just kind of kind of watching the globe uh, with that uh, deep movement up here in the subduction area, uh, well north of Japan near Russia into the Pacific Plate subduction zone and uh, some further deep earthquake activity in this region of the world with that 4.8. That's pretty deep right there in that area, 238 kilometers. Just kind of a waiting game. You know, it's uh, a lot at play here. Plate dynamics is pretty, uh, well, it's, it's pretty dynamic, right? It's really, uh, it's really something to, uh, um, to closely study. You know, it's no simple fashion. It's not, uh, it doesn't really necessarily follow any one direction or any one, um, oh, I can't even think of the word I'm looking for, but, uh, there's a lot at play, a lot at stake, um, when it comes to attempting to figure out where earthquakes are going to happen. It's just, uh, it's, it's a, uh, it's general directions of the, of the movement of the plates that you can follow, but the resistance, the, uh, the built up stress, you know, the uncertainty is there when it comes to, uh, trying to figure out exactly where the next quake is. But I look at quiet zones up here, uh, and the lack of major earthquake activity in this region since the, uh, all, all the movement down South and along the West coast, you know, just kind of, kind of tells me that potentially this could be our area of, uh, next significant movement here pretty soon, I would think. But, uh, anyway, Hope everyone's enjoying their Saturday morning. It's supposed to be 85 degrees here in California. Uh, 92 or 93 tomorrow. whoop de doo Time to break out the uh, air conditioner and uh, a lawn chair. Maybe uh, some cold beer, I don't know. Cold cold drinks, whatever you like to drink. And uh, just sit out and get a tan and, uh, you know, enjoy the heat. <laughs> It's just, it's not going to be good. I'm not ready for summertime at all. All right, guys, enjoy the weekend. We'll chat to you guys a little bit later tonight, unless something else happens. Peace out, stay safe, and we'll chat you next time. Take care.